Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So I've got an order that I need to make before the end of the month. It is now the 23rd of August and I think it will only take me like a day or two. So she wants a customized burp cloth. The customer told me that the theme of the baby's room is going to be like a bunch of foxes and she really wants to have a fox on the burp cloth and then also the baby's name and she also told me what the colors of the room will be so then I will just incorporate some of the colors into the burp cloth and then she also wants a baby burp a teething ring and a dummy clip and i'm going to make that for her because i don't have a lot of boy baby burps and teething rings and dummy clips it's going to be a little bit of a preview of what i'm going to be launching for my next product range i know that in a previous video i said that i will be able to launch it in i think september or august but I think I said August, but it's obviously already almost September, so I will probably just only be launching in September or maybe like mid-September, <laughs> hopefully not too late. I just didn't get to making like the new baby birds and stuff, but we are planning on going to Cape Town in a week or two because Mario has an installation over there, so I am just going with him and my brother and sister-in-law also lives there, so I really want to go and visit them and then while he is working and they are all working um during the day i will just take my sewing machine with and then i will be working in cape town so i just wanted to show you what i'm doing today so it's going to be the burp cloth and then also like embroidering the burp cloth and then i'm just going to make the burp the dummy clip and the teeny ring for the customer so you can follow along i think that's all i need to make for today i do have a few other orders that is coming but they still need to finalize it i have one order that i'm very excited about it's going to be something different i haven't done anything like that before so hopefully i'll be able to film that for you as well i will show you what i need to digitize and then i'm going to do it and then i'll show you the end result um i need to cut out the fabric still for the baby bib and i need to make it and everything so it's going to be quite a video but i hope that you will be able to get a nice idea of everything that i am doing so let's get started what i normally do i'm going to obviously move you so that you can maybe see what i'm doing oh and then also remember your water i have my water so let me just see i'm not sure if i have the picture on my laptop but i do have it on my phone because i just made sure with the client that she wanted a certain one I think she chose oh no okay so I don't have that picture on my laptop so I will just send it to my laptop and then I will get digitizing on that <laughs> Now I'm just going to add the boy's name to the design. Okay, so I've decided to just add some leaves at the bottom because it just looks a little bit boring. So I'm just quickly going to do that and then I will show you again and then we're going to get to embroidering. So I just added a few little leaves and then just a little acorn. And so I'm going to save this and then I'm going to let it get stitched. I've saved the design onto the USB, so I'm now just going to put it into my machine. It just goes in over here at the side, and then I'm going to turn on my machine. So I made sure that the bottom bobbin has enough thread in it, and now I'm just going to hoop my burp towel or burp cloth. There you go. And then I'm just going to double check if the sizing of the hoop and the design is correct so I am going to test it okay and then I just place my Avalon piece on top and my stabilizer at the bottom and then I am going to start the embroidery process mm. 
it is embroidering. While that is getting embroidered, I am going to cut out the material that I need for my bib, teething ring and dummy clip. She really liked this material. It's a light gray color. It has little kites on it. And I am going to quickly cut this out. So now you can see that I am done with the bib and the teething ring and the dummy clip. I will obviously be ironing them and putting in the little clips over there so that the bib will be able to close. So this is the back side and this is the front. I will be showing you the finished result. This is how far the embroidery is at the moment. So yeah. So we are almost done with everything. This, as you've seen in a previous video, I only tear it away. And then also at the back. Okay, and then this is my final result. It's the reversible bib, the dummy clip that matches with the bib and also the teething ring. And then this beautiful embroidered bib cloth. That is just the final order. Hi guys, it's actually a week or so later. I edited this video and realized that I didn't film an outro for it. So I just quickly want to say thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions regarding the embroidery or the digitizing or how the machine works or what I did or how I did it or even the sewing of the bibs and the rest of the products, please let me know down below and I will be happy to make a tutorial on that. Thank you so much for supporting my little channel and I hope that you are having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.